In this episode, I am showing you the DIY big brake kit for my MX-3 race car. We basically took, uh, replaced the, the 10 inch and single piston caliper with the 11 and a half inch disc and rotor and, and a dual piston caliper. The rotor comes from a, uh, a Mini Cooper S. Uh, the calipers are from a, uh, a 99 to 2005 Mustang. So I got, uh, you know, I just ordered the uh, the rotors from Rock Auto. They were 30 bucks each. The uh, calipers, uh, you can order those from Rock Auto too, but uh, I just went to the junkyard and got those. Uh, they are on sale for 10 bucks each. So I got four of them. And I got a whole new uh, pair of, uh, of spindles to do this work on. So uh, the car is pretty much the same. Uh, I was able to uh, mess with, with the new spindles and uh, make sure it all works before I tore up the uh, existing car. So uh, yeah, let me show you how I did that. Uh, I already did one side, so now I just have to do the other side. So here are the two rotors, brake rotors. This is the stock one, which is a 10 inch, and this is the one from a Mini Cooper S with the big brakes, which is 11.6 inches. So it's, uh, you can see that it's significantly uh, bigger and uh, the difference between these two other than the size, I mean they were just about the same offset here, but the hole in this one is a little smaller than it is in this one. So what I did to solve that problem is that I just took one of the old rotors, you can see it here, and I just kind of cut out the center part just so it would be easier to get to, and, and I, just, uh, I just cut out the center ring with a grinder and then uh, so it fits on tight so uh, so that's the rotors and now let's look at the brake calipers here are the brake pads this is the stock brake pad and it kind of fits fits in between these two mounting ears with a single piston single piston uh, caliper and so this is from the Mustang the, I don't know what generation is it? it's the two, 99 up to 99-2004 Mustangs and it's got the dual pistons and you can see it's just not gonna fit right <laughs> so um, so what I did is I, I cut off so I kept this one um, and I just cut this one off so um, so yeah, you can see it on, on this one. So I cut it off. I cut it off and then I drilled and tapped it for, for the mounting bolt. So on, on this side, so you can see that the, the, the caliper bracket sits right on the mounting here on both sides it's pretty much right up against it and so the mounting plate the aluminum mounting plate attaches just holds it in place so I drilled you know basically made the, the mounting plate for it that's pretty much how it goes so it's really not difficult to do the other issue with this setup is that uh, these big rotors are designed uh, you know, for the Mini Cooper, and Mini Cooper with these brakes has 17 inch wheels, and I'm uh, using 15 inch wheels. And uh, so I had to uh, do a little work to get them to clear the wheels. So, as you can see, the mounting ears, or the, not the mounting ears, but the, the cooling fins on this caliper, I had to grind them off. So. Now here's the stock one, and uh, you can see that they stick out, and they, they were just totally rubbing the, the wheel. There's no way you could get the wheel on. In fact, I still, had to, I still had to remove some material from the front. Not much. I'm saying a maybe a sixteenth of an inch. You can see, you can see the difference here between this and this and this, and this. Um, the front is really not a problem. 
very much. It's, it's because if you look at the side profile of these, they kind of go down and then, it, and then, it, and then it, it, it comes out. So there's a hump right here. So I sort of had to remove some of that hump. You can see the hump. It's not much, you know, not much. Um, but to just to make sure that it would clear no problem at all, I actually made some spacers. Because if you space out the wheel, this is 3 eighths. If you, so I just made some of these spacers. So if you space out the wheel 3 eighths, you know, even the stock MX3 wheel, the stock 15 inch MX3 wheel would have fit without rubbing anything. So, you know, actually, I also bought some, some lightweight racing wheels and they cleared without these spacers. The, uh, the Miata wheels that I use, uh, that I've used in the past, would barely clear without the spacers. With the spacers they clear no problem at all. And the stock MX3 wheels will not fit at all without the spacers. So I think I'm just gonna, you know, use the spacers. They don't weigh too much. So uh, yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't think you really want to see me drilling holes and, and grinding on things. And I don't know if that's worth showing really. Uh, I mean, the key really, to, to do this is is uh, I mean is, is I'm gonna have to I, I basically I had to cut this off and and then uh, take take the uh, the caliper mounting and sort of see where it need to be positioned and then cut this part off and then give it enough get it give it enough meat uh, so you can grind it down and uh, and uh, get it to just the right size. So I mean, it's not a, it's not really a critical, critical dimension. I mean, what is critical is that this adapter plate not be sloppy, and that's why I sort of redid this one. Is that um, once I drilled the holes, you don't, you don't want to elongate them or do, you know. They're, they they they've got to be a, a solid fit in there. I don't, I'm not so sure that's true for the the mounting to the actual hub. Uh, you can crank down on them, and you know they're not going to put big washers on them and whatnot. They're probably not going to move too much. But uh, although I you know they are tight, there's there's no slop in those in those uh, mounting holes. Um, so that's really the critical thing, um, is that this adapt this mounting plate, the holes be pretty good fit. Um, but uh, yeah, okay. Well, hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions? Go ahead and post them below. Thanks for watching. So yeah, you can see that gap in there, and but the way these wheels are, there it humps, it kind of humps out a bit right there. So that makes it be be the uh, so you can see right up there. It is really tight. I don't think I can fit. Where's my zip tie? zip tie test so I mean yeah clears zip tie no problem it's all good all good no problem that's no problem so even with no spacer I dropped this down and and I'll tell you how I made it gave it some more space is that I ground this down so I could I could set this down further on the mounts. So that's how I cleared out about probably another eighth of an inch. So it looks like I don't even need spacers now, at least for this side. I'll have to go check the other side.
So here are the stock wheels and you see they, they don't they're scraping. So without a spacer, no way. They are hitting they are just rubbing right against the calipers. In terms of the the this spacing, you know, it's pretty close. But again, if you look at the this tapers down, so if you pull them out a little bit, it's going to make more clearance out there. So these tires, these wheels are going to need spacers. Trim this down too, to to because it now it sets down in a little further to make to make more room. But it was mostly, and I also had to do these. But there's plenty of uh, plenty of material there. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Maybe learned something. Thanks for watching. See you next time.